Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, have a nice day. Hope you will be fine in the best of your health. This is Dr. Sarjit Mahmood Rao, Division of Science and Technology, University of Education, Lahore. Today, we are talking about a brief overview of the natural products. This is our second lecture about the classifications of the natural products. In previous lecture, we have discussed about alkaloids and steroids. Now, we are talking about lignanes, carotenoids, saponins, anthocyanins, carbohydrates, and terpenes. Let's see what are the lignanes. Lignanes are the scantry metabloids which are isolated from the wood of plants. Lignanes are phenylpropanoid dimers in which two phenylpropanoid units are linked together through carbon carbon 8 linkage. Now you can see over here the interdiol molecule. Interdiol is formed by the bacteria in the intestinal tract from the plant lignans metarazinol and secoisolariceracinol, which exist in various whole grains, cereals, barley, rye, and wheat, seed, nuts, legumes, and vegetables. Interdiol is used as a biomarker for the consumption of soybeans and other soy products. You can see over here the second molecule that is phenylpropanoid unit. This unit is the basic building block of the lignin molecule. Phenylpropanoid is a diverse group of compounds derived from the carbon skeleton of phenylalanine. Phenylpropanoid is used in medicine as antioxidant, UV screens, anti-cancer, antivirus, anti-inflammatory and wound healing and antibacterial agents. These are of great interest for cosmetics and perfume industries as active natural ingredients. The next molecule is pinorazinol. This molecule we have observed that two phenylpropanoid units linked with each other by oxalane moiety which is also known as tetrahydrofurane. The two phenylpropanoid units are linked with each other at carbon 8 positions. Pinorazinol is a lignin found in Styrex species. It is also found in the caterpillar of the cabbage and butterfly where it serves as a defense against ants. In food, it is found in sea sand seed, in brassica vegetables, and in olive oil. Pinorazinol inhibits the enzyme alpha glucosidase in vitro and may therefore act as a hypoglycemic agent. Lignins are mostly soluble in organic solvents and sparingly soluble in water. Now we see the identification test. The identification test of the lignans is carried out by using ferrochloride chloride test. In this test, we take 0.5 gram of sample which is dissolved in 20 ml of distilled water. Then this solution is boiled and filtrated. After filtration, we add 5% of ferric trichloride solutions. At the end, we observe brownish green and blackish blue color which indicates the presence of lignin molecules. Lignins are isolated from different species and genus of the plants. You can see over here, seco isolariceracinol is isolated from flax seeds, and pterodiol is isolated from mammalian intestine, and 7-hydroxy metarazinol is isolated from PCA abyss. The biological activities of lignins are cesamine is used as anti-inflammatory drugs, while pterodiol is used as anti-tumor drug, and pinorazinol is used as antioxidant drug. There are some important phytoconstituents that are present in different plants and that phytoconstituents are seco isolariceracinol pinorazinol and cesamine. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which lignans are formulated and evaluated in different nutraceutical food supplements. The first brand is High Lignin Flaxseed Complex, which is manufactured by Invite Nutraceuticals and we take its dose 600 mg per day. It is, it is formulated in capsule dosage form. When we see its activity, it is used as hormonal balance, cholesterol control and prevent hair loss. The second brand that is Super Omega 3, it is manufactured by Life Extensions. We take its dose 10 mg per day. It is formulated in soft gel capsule. When we see its activity, it's used as cholesterol control. The third brand is 7 Proton MR Lignanes. It is manufactured by Svensson Ultra. We take its dose 40 mg per day and it is formulated in capsule dosage form. It is used as uh, enterolactone enhancer. Let's see what are the carotenoids. Carotenoids are the organic phytoconstituents that are isolated from less to medium polar fraction of the plants 
and these are yellow orange and red pigments which belongs to the category of tetraterpenoids the tetraterpenoids consist of isoprenoid unit and that unit is c5h8o you can see over here some important examples and that examples are lycopene canthazanthine astaxanthine and beta carotene the first molecule that is lycopene Lycopene is a bright red carotenoid, hydrocarbons found in tomatoes and other red fruit and vegetables, such as red carrots and watermelons, grapefruits and papayas, but it is not present in strawberries and cherries. Although lycopene is chemically a carotene, however, it has no vitamin A activity. When we see its uses, the lycopene is used as a food supplement, however, it is used in high blood pressure, high cholesterol, cancer and many other conditions, but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses. The second molecule is canthazanthine. Canthazanthine was first detected from an edible mushroom in 1950s. It has since been identified in sea trout, algae, daphnia, salmon, brain shrimp, and several species of flamingo. In addition to these natural sources, canthazanthines can be synthetically produced from acetone. When we see its uses, people use it as medicine. Canthazanthine is used to reduce sensitivity to sunlight that is called photosensitivity. Experienced by people who have a great genetic disease called erythropoietic protoporphyria. In these people, sunlight can cause skin reactions such as itches and rashes. The next molecule is astaxanthin. It is found in salmon, lobster, crab, and crayfish as well as in krill oil and algae. When we see its uses, astaxanthin is taken by mouth for treating Alzheimer diseases, Parkinson diseases, stroke, high cholesterol, liver diseases, age-related muscular degenerations, age-related vision loss, and preventing cancer. The next molecule is beta-carotene. Beta carotene is a red orange pigment found in plants and fruits, especially carrots and colorful vegetables. When we see its uses, the human body converts beta carotene into vitamin A. That is called retinol. Beta carotene is a precursor of vitamin A. We need vitamin A for healthy skin and mucous membranes, our immune system, and good eye health and vision. Vitamin A can be sourced from the food we eat. Carotenoids are soluble in organic solvents and insoluble in water. Now we see the identification test of the carotenoids. Here we perform two tests. In the first test, the sample is taken in chloroform and then added concentrated sulfuric acid along the side walls of the test tube. So we get the blue color. It means carotenoids are confirmed. In the second test, the sample is taken in chloroform and added antimony trichloride which gives the blue color, which indicates the presence of carotenoids. Common sources of carotenoids are pumpkin, carrots, spinach, corn, tomatoes, bacteria, and fungi. Some phytoconstituents have biological activities that are antioxidant, anti-cancer, and anti-inflammatory. The phytoconstituents that are present are alpha-carotenes, beta-carotenes, and lycopene lutein. Carotenoids play an important role in biosynthesis, imports color to plants, a rich source of vitamin A used in various herbal products. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which carotenoids are used as food supplement. So, the first brand is I Factor Formula that is manufactured by Natural Factors and we take its dose 262 mg per day. It is formulated in capsule dosage form, serving per container 90 capsule. The activity of this brand is protective regions as an anti-inflammatory. The second brand is Beta Care All. It is manufactured by natural factors and we take its dose 25 mg per day. It is formulated in soft gel capsule. The activity of this brand is support immune system and cardiovascular systems for healthy skin, bone, teeth and vision. The last brand is Astextant in Plus. It is also manufactured by natural factors and we take its dose 5 mg per day. It is formulated in soft gel capsules and its activity is antioxidant. Dear students, these are some important pharmaceutical brands of steroid molecules which we have missed in our previous lectures. So we discuss some important nutraceutical brands. The first brand is high lignane flaxseed complex. 
It is manufactured by in white nutraceuticals. We take 600 mg per day its dose and it's formulated in capsule dosage form. The activity of this brand is hormonal balance, cholesterol control and prevent hair loss. The second brand is Super Mega 3 which is manufactured by Life Extensions and we take 10 mg per day its dose. It is formulated in soft gel capsule. The activity of this brand is cholesterol control. The name of third brand is 7HMR Lignanes. It is manufactured by Swenson Ultra and we take its dose 40 mg per day. It is formulated in capsule dosage form and the activity of this brand is electro lactone enhancer. Let's see what are saponins. Saponins are the heterogeneous molecules containing glycone that is called sugar part and a glycone that is called non sugar part. So these two units are linked with each other and generally known as the saponin molecules. In the structure you can see over here the sugar moiety is linked with the steroid moiety and this molecule is called the steroidal saponins. The name of this molecule is diogenin. Diogenin is the phytosteroid saponins is the product of hydrolysis of by acids, strong bases or enzymes of saponins extracted from the tubers of Dioscoria wildium such as the Kokoro. Diogenin or wildium is often promoted as a natural alternative to estrogen therapy. So you will see it is used for estrogen replacement therapy. Vaginal dryness in older women, PMS that is called premenstrual syndromes, menstrual cramps, weak bones, osteoporosis. Increasing energy and sexual drive in men and women and in also breast. Saponins are soluble in medium to high polar fractions of the plant and these are soluble in water, lower alcohols and ethyl state. Now we see the identification test of saponins. These are performed by two ways. In the first test that is foam test. In this test we take 0.5 gram of extract and add it 2 ml of water then shake it and we observe persistent foam in the solution which indicates the presence of saponins. The second test is hemolysis test. In this test red blood cells of alkaline solutions is added to the extract of saponins and then shake it. We observe cleared colored formation which indicates the presence of saponin molecules. Saponins are isolated from different sources and that sources are soybeans, monocotyledons, dicotyledons, tea seeds, chicken peas and Celius vulgaris. Saponins also have biological activity. These act as anti-cancer agent that inhibits colon cancer. Now we discuss some important phytoconstituents that fall in the category of saponins. The first molecule is ginsenoside RH3. It is used as anti-allergic agent. The second molecule is ginsenoside RH2. It is used as anti-dermatophytic agent. The third molecule is parastenol saponins. It is used as anti pro agent. When we see its applications, saponins are used in the field of cosmetics, pharmaceutical sectors and food industries. Different kinds of the saponins are used in these sectors. In cosmetics, spirostanol saponins and steroidal saponins, and in food industries, glycerin is used and triterpenoidal saponins. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands of the saponins that are used in food supplements. The first brand is Korean Ginseng. This brand is manufactured by Lambert's Healthcare Limited, and we take its dose 24 mg per day. This brand is formulated in tablet dosage form and it is used to enhance stamina and concentration to the sex drive. Another product is ginseng complex which is manufactured by nature's pony nutraceuticals. We take its dose 40 mg, 300 mg and 50 mg per day. It is formulated in capsule dosage form and we can take two capsules two times a day. It is used to support immune system. The next molecule of uh, saponins is liquorice. This product is manufactured by Nature's Answers and we take its dose 2000 mg in 30 ml of suspension. So it is formulated in liquid dosage form and we take 1 to 2 ml 3 times a day. This brand or product is used to enhance port digestive health system. Anthocyanins. Let's see what are the anthocyanins. 
Anthocyanins are water-soluble glycosides of polyhydroxyl and polymethoxyl derivatives of phenyl benzopyrrhenium. These are found as vacuolar pigments that may appear red, purple, and blue color. When we see the structures of anthocyanins, you can see over here different kinds of polyhydroxyl and polymethoxyl groups are present within the base skeleton of anthocyanins molecule. Now we discuss the important sources from which anthocyanins are isolated and extracted. Plants rich in anthocyanins are vaccinium species such as blueberry, cranberry and bilberry, including black raspberry and raspberry cherries, eggplants, peel, black rice, and sweet potato. It is also found in concord grapes, muscadine grape, red cabbage, and violet petals. Now, we see the uses of anthocyanin molecules. In addition to acting as antioxidants and fighting free radicals, anthocyanins may offer anti-inflammatory, antiviral, anti-cancer benefits. In herbal medicines, anthocyanins-rich substances have long been used to treat a number of conditions that include high blood pressure, colds, and urinary tract infections. Anthocyanins are soluble in water and polar organic solvents. Now we see the identification test of anthocyanins molecules. We take 2 ml plant extract and add it to normal hydrochloric acid. Appearance of pink red color that turn purplish blue after additions of ammonia, which indicates the presence of anthocyanin molecules. Anthocyanins are isolated and extracted from blueberry, cranberry, sweet potato, black rice, and ubus berries. Now we discuss the biological activities of anthocyanins molecules. You can see over here it works as anti inflammatory in the form of cinidine. It works as antioxidant in the form of telphenidine and anti-cancer agent in the form of punidine. The phytoconstituents that fall in the category of anthocyanins are cinidine 3-glycosides, maravidine 3-glucosides, delphinidine, and last, pilargonidine. Now, we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which anthocyanins are used as active group extract. The first product is Black Runt. It is manufactured by Gero Formulas and we take 200 mg per day its dose, one capsule one to two times per day. It is formulated in the form of capsules. It is used to support eye functions and eye comfort. The second product is Star Cherry Food Extract. It is manufactured by Solari. We take its dose 425 mg per day, two capsules twice daily. It is formulated in capsule dosage form. It is used to enhance to enhance joint support. The next brand is Blue Berry Concentrate. It is manufactured by Blue Rich and we take its dose 500 mg per day. It is formulated in the form of soft gel capsules. It is used as an antioxidant activity as well as it is used to delay the effect of aging. Carbohydrates. Let's see what are the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are polyhydroxyl aldehydes or ketones and their derivatives. They consist of major three elements, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. These are also known as sugar because they are sweet in taste. The word carbohydrate is derived from a Greek word that is saccharon means sugar. Carbohydrates are of three categories. The first category is monosaccharide, second oligosaccharides, and third polysaccharides. First of all, we will discuss monosaccharides. You can see over here, glucose is the example of monosaccharides. Glucose is isolated from different sources. Now we will discuss their sources. The first source is carbohydrates, which includes bread, rice, pasta, potatoes, vegetables, fruit, sugar, yogurt, and milk. Our bodies change 100% of the carbohydrates we eat in glucose. The second source is protein, which includes fish, meat, cheese, and peanut butter. The third source is fat, which includes butter, salad dressings, avocado, and olive oil. Now, we discuss the uses of glucose molecule. Glucose is used to treat very low blood sugar that is called hypoglycemia, most often in people with diabetes mellitus. Glucose works by quickly increasing the amount of glucose in your blood. Glucose is also used to provide carbohydrate calories to person who cannot 
eat because of illness, trauma or other medical conditions. Maltose is the example of oligosaccharides. Now we see its sources and uses. Maltose is isolated and present in bread, beagles, big fast cereals, crackers, cornmeal, wheat, barley and candies. Now we discuss its important uses. Instead, it does not come into use in the malting process of barley in order to make beer. The starch is turned into maltose during the malting process, which adds a sweetness to beer to counteract the bitterness. More importantly, it is used an important role for digestion. You can see over here three examples of the polysaccharides and that molecules are starch, cellulose and chitin. First of all, we will discuss about starch. Starch is a common carbohydrate in human diet and is contained in many staple foods. The major sources of starch intake worldwide are the cereals that includes rice, wheat and maize and the root of vegetables that includes potatoes and cassava. When we see its uses, it is used as an additive for food processing. Food starches are typically used as thickeners and stabilizers, means it is used as thickening and stabilizing agent. It is used in puddings, custards, soaps, sauces, gravies, pie fillings and salad dressings and also used to be and also used to make noodles and pastas. Third example of polysaccharides is chitin. Now we see the major sources and uses of chitin molecules. The main natural sources of chitin is the shells of crab and shrimps and it is mainly obtained from the waste of fishing industry. It is also be found in insects, mollusks, and fungi. Now we see its uses. Chitin is used in industry in many process, processes. Examples of the potential uses of chemically modified chitin in food processing include the formation of edible films and as an additive to thicken and stabilize the foods. It is also used to process the size and strength of paper that imply chitin and chitosan. Carbohydrates are readily soluble in water. However, some polysaccharides have difficult behavior in water. For example, so, some are insoluble in water, that is cellulose, some dissolve on heating, that is starch, and some are readily soluble in water, that is alone. Now we see the identification test of carbohydrates. The first test is Molish test, which is very common. Here we take sample of carbohydrates and added few drops of alpha naphthode and few drops of sulfuric acid. We obtain purple color, which indicates the presence of carbohydrates. The second test is felling test, which is also very common. In this test, we take sample of carbohydrates and added felling solutions A and B, which converts these solutions to brick red precipitates, which indicates the presence of carbohydrates. Now, we discuss some important and very common sources from which the carbohydrates are extracted, and that sources are cell wall of brown seaweed, gore, and buckwheat. Carbohydrates are biologically active. You can see over here the activity of some important carbohydrates which works as anti-inflammatory, antiviral and anti agent. Now we discuss some important phytoconstituents that are present in the category of carbohydrates. The first example is alginic acid. Now we see the sources and uses of alginic acid. Alginates are naturally present in brown seaward cell walls. Commercial alginates are mainly extracted from species of Laminaria, Esophyllum, and Darvilia. When we see its uses, the combination of alginic acid, aluminum hydroxide, and magnesium carbonate is used to treat symptoms of stomach ulcers, gastroesophageal reflux disease, and other conditions caused by the excess of stomach acids. This medicine is also used to treat heartburn, upset stomach, sore stomach, or acid indigestion. Second phytoconstituent is uh, fucodine that is also isolated from brown seawards. The third example and phytoconstituent is the gore gum. Now we discuss its uses and sources. Gore gum is isolated from the seeds of family leguminosae and it is used as laxative. It is also used for treating diarrhea, irritable bowel syndromes, 
obesity and diabetes, for reducing cholesterol and for preventing hardening of the arteries. It, in foods and beverages, gorgam is used as a thickening, stabilizing, suspending and binding agent. Carbohydrates are used in the field of cosmetic industry. Here, chitosan is used as moisturizer. In the field of agriculture, here it is used as food coating agent. In the field of pharmaceutical industries, it is used as drugs as well as 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 well as excipients and preservatives. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which phytoconstituents or carbohydrates are used as active source. The first product is Gaviscon, which is very famous and research brand of GlaxoSmithKline Consumer Healthcare Holdings. We take its dose to 50 mg per day. It is formulated in tablet chewable dosage form. It is used as heartburn activity. The second product is sodium alginate. It is manufactured by Rochem International Nutraceuticals. We take its dose 400 mg per day. It is formulated in capsule dosage form and it can also be used in heart burning. Another product is Gorgum. It is manufactured by Asia America Group Industries. We take its dose 400 mg per day. It is formulated in the form of powder, sachet dosage form, and it is used in the conditions of diarrhea, irritable bowel syndromes. Let's see what are the terpenes. Terpenes are a large and diverse classes of organic compounds produced by a variety of plants, particularly conifers and by some insects. They often have a strong odor and may protect the plants that produce them by detecting herbivores and by attracting predators and parasites or herbivores. These are the secondary metabolites consist of isoprene units that is C5H8 and isoprenoid unit that is C5H8O. Isoprene unit is used for isoterpenes while isoprenoid unit is used for terpenoids. The difference between terpenes and terpenoids is due to the presence of the hydroxyl group. So the, there is a good evidence suggestion that terpenes have direct physiological effect on the body, especially for the linalool and limonene. This means that linalool rich strains are likely to have a claiming effect and to provide pain relief while limonene rich strains are likely to be mood elevating agents. Terpenes are the major components of the rosin and of turpentines produced from resins. The name terpene is derived from the word turpentine and obsolete spellings of the word turpentina. Terpenes are also major biosynthetic building blocks of steroids. For example, a derivatives of the terpene is choline. Terpenes and terpenoids are the primary constituents of the essential oils of many types of plants and flowers. Essential oils are used widely as fragrances in primary perfumery and tradition, traditional medicines such as aromatherapy. Synthetic variations and derivatives of natural terpenes and terpenoids also greatly expand the variety of aromas used in perfumery industries as, as well as in flavoring agents. So, vitamin A is a terpenoid. Dear students, you can see over here three structures of the terpenes molecules and that structures are limonene, myrcene, and linalool. In these structures, we observe that the two structures consist of hydroxyl group while the one structure does not consist of hydroxyl group. So, the molecules which have hydroxyl group that are called terpenoids and the molecules that have not hydroxyl group does not include the classes of terpenoids. Terpenes are mostly soluble in organic solvents and insoluble in water. The organic solvents that are used for the isolation and extraction of terpenes molecules are ethanol, chloroform and diethyl ether. Right? Terpenoids generally isolated from the resins of the wood and these are commonly used in the perfumery industries. Now we see the identification test of terpenes molecule. We perform here two tests. The first test is Salvisky test and the other test is Leiberman butcher test. In the first test, in the sample, we add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid and we observe yellow color, which indicates the presence of terpenes molecule. 
in the live permanent test we we take sample of terpene molecule and added few drops of acetic anhydride and it is changed into reddish brown ring junction which indicates the presence of terpenes molecules other sources of the terpenes are orange peel in which 98% of limonene is present the patch holly that is progestinol cabin and camoly that is present in the matty ola campola the biological activity of the terpenes are antioxidant anti inflammatory and sedative as well as analgesic activities here we discuss some important phytoconstituents which includes different classes of the terpene molecules we discuss here four classes of the terpenes that are citrol limonene myrcene and linalool the first class is citrol lemongrass oil contains 70 to 80% citrol which may be isolated by distillation other natural sources include the oils of verbena and citronella citrol can be synthesized from myrcene ionone and methyl ionone made from citrol are used in film industries ionone is also converted into synthetic vitamin a now we see the uses of citrol molecule citrol is also used as a flavor and for fortifying lemon oil it is also has strong antimicrobial qualities and it is used as a perfumery industries citrol is used in the synthesis of vitamin a lycopene ionone and methyl ionone to mask the smell of smoke the second molecule is limonene so first of all we see the sources of limonene molecules and then we see its uses limonene is a chemical found in the rind of citrus fruits such as lemons limes and oranges it is especially concentrated in the orange peels comprising around 97% of this rind's essential oils it is often referred to as d limonene which is its main chemical form it is used to make medicine limonene is used to promote weight loss prevent cancer treat cancer and treat bronchitis in foods it is used as a beverages and to make chewing gum limonene is used as a flavorin the third molecule is myrcene which is isolated from cannabis lemongrass and mango it is used for the treatment of diarrhea diabetes and hypertension the fourth molecule is linalool it is isolated from rosewood lavender and laurel linalool is used as a scent in 60% to 80% of perfumery industries as a hygiene products and cleaning agents including soaps detergents and shampoos and lotions it is also used as chemical intermediates one common downstream product of linalool is vitamin a now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which terpenes and its classes are used as a phytoconstituents the name of first brand is d limonene in which orange peel oil is present it is manufactured by chero formulas and we take it two soft gels per day and it is formulated in soft gel capsules it is used to promote esophageal health natural phase 1 and phase 2 detoxification stimulant the next brand is myrcene pain it is manufactured by herbody nutraceuticals we can use 2 to 10 drops per day and it is formulated in drops dosage form when we see its activity it is used to recognize sedative analgesic and muscle relaxant the last band of uh, this category is coriander seed capsules which is manufactured by dr wackett nutraceuticals and we take 2 to 4 capsule daily with warm water this product is formulated in capsule dosage form and when we see its activity it is used as antimicrobial anti inflammatory anti cancer and antioxidant properties dear students you can see over here three assignments which you would have to submit uh, within 7 days after the delivery of this lecture the first assignment is explain isolation separation purification and structure elucidations of alginic acid the second assignment is give chemical synthesis and biosynthesis of xanthones third 
discuss the protocol and importance of in vitro and in vivo studies with reference to the herbal formulation. Dear student, thank you so much for your kind attention. So please feel free to contact in case of any queries. Okay, love is bye.